Hi, this is Greg Koopman. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete files from a Talon server. Now, when you uh, working with ETL with Talon, you're going to be doing a lot of um, a lot of storage and exporting of data to CSV files. Okay. Um, and then you might send those CSV files in an email to somebody. You might put them on an FTP server. But first of all, you have to persist them somewhere on your server. And it's going to be on your talent server that you'll persist them initially. Okay, so what you're going to end up with is a bunch of files that go on your uh, talent server. Now, let's say, for example, you take 5 million rows from SQL Server and you want to put them into CSV files. Talon has a nice mechanism to split the file into whatever number of rows you'd like. So let's say you want to put in, uh, a million on each on each file. So if you have a five million row extract that you want to extract to CSV, split them one million per file. So then you'd have five files. Okay, so what you need is a mechanism where you can delete these files once you're to do cleanup or right after you're finished with the whole job you don't want these files just hanging around taking up this space and cluttering up your um your system so we you need a nice mechanism to both delete a, si a single file uh if that's what you created or multiple files okay and the way that see that uh, Talon creates multiple files as it gives you give it a prefix okay of let's say fax sales you have fax sales which is exactly the example we're going to do and if the uh, Talon may create fax sales zero fax sales one fax sales two fax sales three etc etc so you have all these files so all you really have to do is give it a prefix give the name of the prefix and an asterisk after it, a wild card, and it will delete all of them, okay, uh, if you set it up right. So what I'm going to show you today is how to set it up right, okay. Uh, once you get the hang of it, you'll, it'll be very easy. So just look at this uh, design pattern, and you can use this for yourselves. So what you see here is a very simple uh, job, and uh, it consists of the T file to component and a T file delete. Okay, so what this basically is is we're going to get a list of files that is going to point at a certain position on the uh, Talon server. So in this case, the directory it's pointing to is m colon backslash Talon backslash x for out. Okay, and if we look down at the file mask here, okay, you will see that it's going to pull all files. Fact with the that begin with fax sales asterisk dot csv so it's going to pull all those pull all those into a list that's all we're trying to do with this component is create a list okay there's nothing else in these other tabs that i'm using okay just these components here all right so let's just go ahead and we see that we're going to go ahead back to our iterate Okay, what we do next, rather, I'm sorry, is we're going to do row, and then we're going to click on iterate, okay, which is already set up here, and it's going to iterate. That means it's going to go through the list. This creates a list. The iterate's going to go through that list, so it's going to go one at a time. So it's going to take the first file name it finds in that list, which will be fax sales zero, and it will bring that over to a T file delete. In the T file delete, we have the following setting. File name is this. Now this looks a little bit more complicated. Well, let's break this down. Basically, what this is doing is it's looking at the current file path, okay, of the T file two, okay? T file two is this component. I'm mean, sorry, T file list two is this component, right? So that's basically pointing, this is pointing to that list. Is, is pointing to the current one that's flowing over here. Okay, so it's going to pick up that m colon backslash m colon backslash talent x for out because that's the path and the file name. Okay, so it combines both of those. So when you get the both of those, you're going to have one single file and the path, and that's all it is. And then it's going to delete it. And there, there you go. There's nothing more to this than that. Okay. If, for example, you only had one file, 
fine. It's going to pull, delete that one file when it it's going to iterate once. If you have four files, it's going to iterate four times. It's, one at a time, it's going to delete it by, by choosing the latest file name that crosses that iterate path. Okay, and that's how it works. So let's, let's go ahead and run this. We're going to first of all jump over to the um, where we're going to get that list. Okay, this m colon backslash talon x for out. So I'm going to jump over there right now. Okay, we're there now. So here's our fax sales zero, fax sales one, fax sales two, and fax sales three. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to look for fax sales asterisk, which is all these. Okay, and all of these are CSV files. Okay, so if we look at the properties, you'll see um, CSV here. Okay, so when we run this, it should hit all of those, all four of those. Okay, so let's see what happens. So I'm going to hit the run command. I'm going to click the run command. And as we see, it went through all four, executed all four of those. And it should have no more files. So it went, as you see, four executions finished. So it went, that means it went iterated four times and they all hit the delete. So let's go see if it worked. Okay, we're back to that directory. And as you see now, there's no files for sales fact it didn't touch the greg test file.csv which is good so it's only going to delete the files you want it to delete as long as you specify it correctly i hope this helps you um, in your talent jobs thank you very much for watching